So back in the 1980s, everyone had a favourite cartoon or animated series. Some people love Transformers. Some people love G.I. Joe. I uh, was a big fan of the TV show that the characters in front of you were from, which was Ulysses 31, which was a sort of French-Japanese animated series from about 1981. And it was a sort of updated science fiction interpretation of the Greek Odyssey. Um, it's actually, it does hold up quite well now, really. It's uh, got some very dark imagery in it. Sort of, some episodes are like a visit to Dante's Inferno. It uh, definitely wasn't the Super Friends. Um, now, as a child of the 80s, of course, I desperately wanted toys based on the show. And at the end of most episodes, when they were shown on BBC, the uh, presenter, Philip Schofield, would be seen singing along to the uh, theme tune with the uh, various toys surrounding him. But could we find those toys in a shop? No way, not at all. Then one day, I went to a Toys R Us at Wood Green in North London and saw these on the uh, shelf. Now, we should mention there are actually two ranges of Ulysses 31 toys. There's a set of metal figures, from which this guy here at the back comes from. We'll talk more about him later. That sort of consists of some ships as well. He's the only metal one I've got. But uh, what I found in uh, the Toys R Us at World Green back in 1986, I think it was, was uh, these sort of 3.75 action figures. Very similar to Star Wars figures, really. I said five points of articulation, but made of very, very cheap plastic. You see the discoloration here on Ulysses. Um, and with very, very loose joints. They've always had loose joints since the day I bought them. Um, the ones I've got, of course, are Ulysses himself. Yumi, no, no, the robot, the medical droid, and the engineer robot. There's also a firefighting robot and a sort of athlete uh, style robot. I vaguely remember from the uh, again from the closing sequence of the uh, TV show. I think uh, also this robot here, I think, was seen at the uh, during the end credits and. I don't remember him being the actual TV show. I think the actual droid in the TV show was sort of uh, one with a domed head like R2-D2. To show you how cheap these figures are, not only is this one discoloured, um, he, uh, he has here a little stretcher that folds down from the uh, rear of his uh, body. And uh, as you can see, the little legs here are all broken off over the years. That's how flimsy and cheap these were. I was the sort of kid that actually did look after my toys, and even these were sort of falling to pieces on me. Now, they also did uh, two vehicles for the figures. One was a sort of red sort of sort of scooter-come-sled, which is sort of captured right around the TV show. The other was this here, which uh, is a small plane walking device that uh, Nono was seen walking around in during the show. Um, there's one of these on eBay for that moment, priced at £300, believe it or not, and they call it Taco Taco, so maybe that's what it's called, I don't know, I've no idea what the actual name of this thing is, um, but it was seen in the show quite a bit. Uh, there's sadly no articulation of the leg at all, it's fixed, these legs, but there are some little wheels on the bottom here. No, no himself is kind of a bizarre little figure because uh, he copies the uh, sort of, uh, the uh, construction of the larger die-cast version of him, which I don't have, where he has like a little wheel at the back here which helps support him when he's standing up. And this wheel here is just mobbly plastic, whereas on the actual metal one, it's a proper wheel that rolls around and whatnot. And the idea is you can fold this in, so you can actually sit down on his little device here. And it allows him to sort of keep up when he's walking with the uh, other characters. I mean, he's obviously a bit larger, this uh, one here, than the version of the character in the TV show. And the TV show is very small, and he's about sort of like you would sit on Ulysses' his shoulder. He's tiny, whereas this is obviously a lot bigger. He's probably my favourite figure, actually, out of the set, because he... Is the most um, visually interesting, shall we say? Now, uh, I've not found any of these toys over the years, the car boots and toy fairs that I go to. But one day I did get lucky. Here's my lucky car boot find. I did find uh, this uh, diecast version of the engineering robot we can see there. Now, this one's much nicer than the uh, smaller one. The smaller one is just, as I said, very. Simply jointed, just, you know, arms and head roll, rotate and that's all. There's no wheels on the bottom or anything like that. 
whereas this actually has full articulation at the shoulders. Move up and down, and you can move up and down at the elbows. And so it has wheels on the bottom as well. This one, sadly, the uh, arm here is broken off. But, however, this arm here, you can actually put attachments in, like this one here, for example. It fits in there like so. You can go and do it. Oh, that doesn't want to fit in there. There we go, that's better. So you put that in there, you can do various engineering feats around their ship, the Odyssey. And also inside, again, very lucky for a car boot find, he has all these various um, attachments for his arm. So I'll just sit there and not use. And just close it up. Uh, these remind me a lot of the uh, Shogun Warriors figures that Mattel put out or distributed in the uh, West in the 70s. Uh, I'll be reviewing one of those soon. There's a combination of like, die cast on the body and plastic on the lower half here. The head doesn't move on the uh, larger one, sadly. Um, it does say on the back here, in rather proud letters, Unices 31, so you can actually identify which TV show it is from. Um, as I said, these are made by Poppy, who made sort of various toys from Japanese TV shows, like uh, Gachaman, also known as Battle of the Planets in the West, and things like Ultraman. Uh, always very well made toys, but again, has certain delicate parts and lots of chrome which flakes off easy, which is rather sad and makes finding these very, very hard in any sort of condition. I suspect a lot of these got broken and just got thrown in the bin, possibly, which could describe. Uh, why these are so hard to find now. The uh, thing I find though with uh, Ulysses 31, it's not a very well known cartoon in some places. I mean, obviously it's very popular and well known amongst people in my generation who grew up in the 80s in the UK. But Americans, for example, don't really seem to know about it. I mean, I did do a little bit of research and uh, it was shown in America, but much later than other countries. It was shown about 1989, 1990 in, uh, in the States. And again, then it was only shown on, on in certain states on certain stations so it wasn't shown sort of nationwide or anything like that so that might explain why it's not so well known which is sad because it's a very good series and worth worth checking out even if you are an adult now especially if you like sort of lots of uh, anime and japanese animation as i said these are fantastic fantastic toys but as i said they don't come up very often as i said at the moment on ebay suddenly selling no one knows little vehicle for £300 on the card, a Yumi on the card for £300, and they have a jet sled on the card for £300. So, should you so find yourself getting into a USC 31 becoming a big fan, um, expect to pay uh, top price to even have the remotest of uh, collections in whatever condition you can find these in. I, I would love to ho own some of the diecast ships they did. Um, they did like a sort of diecast Odyssey and a ship that divided into three separate ships that you saw used quite a bit in the show, but they just never ever seemed to come up. I think the Odyssey came up on eBay once, to my knowledge, and it was in Italy, and the person selling it wanted a small fortune for it, and it was way out of my price range. So I live in hope of finding more of these, and as I said, there are the die-cast figures. There's somebody who's done another video on YouTube just of the die-cast toys, which includes the ships. That's probably worth checking out. I mean, not the Ulysses figures, a lot nicer. Um, it has like a removable helmet and a cape and swords and laser guns and whatnot. Um, also, there's a, which was a die cast no no. And um, there's also Telemachus, I forgot to mention him, I haven't got him. There was a figure of Ulysses' his son Telemachus, obviously, in this range as well, which I don't have. And the other die cast, as well as the engineering robot, Ulysses, Telemachus, and no no. There's also the, um, the firefighting robot as well, if I remember rightly, as well, as a die cast figure, which is about six inches tall or so. So if you do like these toys, good luck finding them. If I do find any more of these out in the wild, I will be certain to do an update video showing whatever I do find. So fingers crossed, hopefully we'll find some more of these at some point in the future. Thanks for watching.